So now, in this video, we're going to study Ohm's Law a little bit by setting the current through the LED here by adjusting the power source voltage. So this is a 1 kilo ohm resistor. And so when I have 1 volt across this resistor, which you can see I'm measuring directly, and uh, there we go, just a about uh, almost 2% off from 1 volt, so close enough. Now we know that we have about 1 milliamp of current through the LED because it's a 1000 ohm resistor. Of course, that's not the power source voltage. We can either measure it here or directly across the components. You can see that it's about 1.8 volts higher because it takes about 2 volts in that range before the LED starts conducting. Actually, it begins conducting about 1.6 volts and uh, there we go we got 1.8 now when it first starts glowing it's blocking about 1.6 volts and when it gets pretty bright it's blocking up to about 2.2 volts so about 2 volts anyways we measured the voltage across the resistor so what we're going to do the long lead the anode of the LED is connected directly to the resistor we're going to flip it so short lead is still at the negative rail there but the long lead is on its own row and uh, there we go we got her plugged in and now what we're going to do we're going to turn the meter to measure current and this is one reason why I use this meter a lot instead of the, the one that I like better is because I don't have to move the uh, probe right there I can the red probe I can leave it there where's my other meter I have to move the probe so be aware of that if that applies to your meter so we're going to complete the circuit through the meter the red probe to the resistor because that goes towards the positive rail there and then the uh, black probe here because that leads to the negative rail right there and there you can see we have 1.01 milliamps of current going through both the LED and the resistor because remember series components have the same amount of current going through them so that's the current going through the resistor that's the current going through the meter and that's the current going through the LED it is equal because they are in series so now that voltage and resistance relationship when it comes to current is linear which means that we don't have to just do one volt to get one milliamp of current through a 1000 ohm resistor we can change the voltage so 10 milliamps is about half the current that is the maximum current recommended to go through an LED so usually you don't want to put more than 20 milliamps of current through an LED we're going halfway now so we have 10 volts across the 1 kilo ohm resistor so we know that 10 amp or 10 milliamps of current is going through the resistor and through the LED because they are in series and again series components have the same amount of current going through them so I'm gonna pluck this out we'll do a quick reading now I'll put the long lead down one row that needs to be more positive long lead anode short lead cathode cathode needs to be more negative anode more positive for it to conduct and light up if we put it in backwards there'll be no current and it won't light up uh, through the resistor or the LED so in any case we will come here and read the current. I should have took the power source voltage first, but uh, there you can see it is spot on. Whatever the voltage was, thanks to the resistor being a one kilo ohm resistor, we have one one thousandths the current. So each volt equals one milliamp. And so let's take the voltage reading. So I didn't look at the power supply. I just turned the dial. It's off to the side. I can't read the number right now unless I try to look we might as well turn the LED back but I know it's probably pretty close to spot on 12 volts just from working with electronics here and there you can see pretty much spot on 12 volts so we already saw that we have 10 volts across the resistor and with 10 milliamps of current you can expect the LED to be blocking about 2 volts so it's just shy of that but it's not in the exact science. So this resistor, because it's only an 18 volt power supply, I'll turn it up to 18 volts. Okay, so pretty much all the way up. So now 
we'll probably see, I'm guessing, about 17.8 volts, or not 17, uh, 15, because remember, 15.8 volts, because remember we're losing about 2 volts, it's going to be actually about 2.2 volts from the LED, so 15.8 is my guess, there we go, 15.9, so pretty close, and as you can see there, the LED, okay, looks like it's only blocking uh, 2 volts still, so, but uh, we don't have 20 milliamps of current going through here because we only have about 16 volts across there. So it's about 16 milliamps. So if I could raise the voltage even more or use a lower value resistor, of course, then uh, the current would go up a little bit more and the LED would block a little bit more voltage. But you get the point. So in any case, I just thought I would do a quick video that shows pretty much all the skills you need to earn, learn in basic electronics when you're first learning electronics because this applies to all circuits so you may be able to build more advanced circuits without uh, knowing this but this is going to help you understand what's going on a lot so thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video